The memories that were stolen from us, and what they must relate to. The modus Monokuma came up with, the class trial, the founding of Hope Speak Academy. Okay. I mean, I could always just reset my number so that... <laughs> Despair, right? You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? That too, and right? You remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manner. <laughs> so then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Specific theme oh, to it. Theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Betrayal. The theme of the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder. Monokuma gave us those DVDs. Oh. Those DVDs that included my family, Sayaka, my friend, they all had this dream they shared. For the first murder, her motive was given was human connection, internal relationship, love triangles can't be it. Internal relationship. As the pots looks like would have. Okay, whoops. <laughs> it was, I was close though, so it's definitely not love triangle. Huh? Let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah, of course, narrator. Thanks. Thanks for giving me an. Fucking five extra chances of playing this game. Oops. Whoa. Hold on. Wait a minute. <coughs> Quick panic test because I I might have accidentally kicked the wires or something. <coughs> okay. I think everything seems to be good to go because footage is still playing and my microphone is still playing. So false alarm. <laughs> All right. I refuse to give up now. You're talking about the motive. So it was so that did you? Uh, yep. You inside. Okay. My family and her. Uh... Wow, the order actually changed. Okay, so, whoops. Oh no, it's not international. Oh, I thought I thought that said internal relationships. Whoops. I got <laughs> Didn't mean. Uh. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that. That's why. Was human connections. I really need to check my glasses again because I feel like I might be dang, literally dang, blind. Dang. You got it. Remember those DVDs I, oh, I need to refill my- I should have done that during the break. I need to refill my glass of water. Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationship. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill, but still. What a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! <laughs> the theme of the motto was... That's when we got those weird envelopes from Monica Greed. Oh, mention uh, embarrassment. This theme was... The meaning of life, a strong heart, the past. Okay. I, got it. I guess the past. It was... Past, right? Okay, I'm gonna have to skip a lot of her dialogue. So, Mako got right, the theme was right. Okay. Oh, uh, we're saying in secret. It's all about. Okay. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Yes, okay, next question. Why does this personality have to be on the third question as well? Okay, fuck. The, third, the theme for the third murder was that voice has to be the most annoying out of Junko. I hate that voice. The reason Celeste turned to murder was well, she wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men, so greed, riches. So that time, the motto of murder was greed, popularity. <laughs> no, you're buying the popularity, so that can't be it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Way better voice. Now instead of a loudmouth high-pitched voice, now it's a loudmouth metal voice. So much better. I mean, metal is a whole shit ton better than pop music, so fuck yeah. I I'm fine with this voice. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. 
He is really... Aaron Fitzgerald, you're really enjoying this role, aren't you? Let's go through this case by case. <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? Loyalty? She committed suicide in order to protect her friends. What was that that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secrets. So the theme of her motive with the first quest was... Blackmail. Or... Yeah, that wasn't because she didn't care about the. Yeah, I should have reviewed it a little bit better. It was like loyalty to our friends, right? Or redemption? Betrayal? Secrets? No. Okay, there we go. In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see, once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway. It looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Okay, okay, okay. Of course, those aren't the only motives <laughs> that exist in this world. <laughs> oh my god. I like how her uh, headset's a lot different whenever she changes personalities. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. Seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? <laughs> Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, I mean, you would I say think I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. I mean, at the same time, she's kind of explaining her motives as to all this mystery behind what us as I'm well. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories. So that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? <laughs> I wanna see. It's not one of your mirages, is it? See your faces sink into despair. Question is, what the fuck happened out there? Is this gonna be like 1984, where it's like everyone's being enslaved and forced to watch this reality TV show? Behold, the world beyond the school walls. I'm 
I'm guessing the, that explains the sequel as well, as why there's more students or something, is because they're also partaking in this game show. This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? What the shit? This can't be real. It's basically a fucking purge? What the? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? The whole thing is insane! The world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass! Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die! I don't remember! Ain't a fucking excuse no more! Cause now it's time for the final class trial! Oh boy, okay, here we go. Oh my fucking god. Photo of Kyoko and Headmaster Genocide Jack's memories. And group photo. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but. What am I supposed to be remembering? Shit. Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other choice? Just like Jack's memory. If I can't remember, is it all over? I mean, how can she show me something so completely incomprehensible that, and then just say, S remember, every single one of us has lost our memories. It really is hopeless after all. No way. There's a chance that she hasn't forgotten. Come on, bitches. Just like Jack. Oh god, do you have to? Really? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but. What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. No, that's wrong. This is the only ex the only I hate to do this, but Actually, she might remember. Who might remember? The other Toko. Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge. But their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality's forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Uh... Are you telling me to swap places with her? No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Toko, you're the only one we can rely on. Unfortunately, yes, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. It's me, your friendly neighborhood serial killer. Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? <laughs> okay, that's a cute reaction. Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Talk her talking to herself essentially. Okay. 
Does she remember any of this? If she says not a damn clue, then we essentially wasted our time. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but Compares it does! Uh... Remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! Oh god. So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm gonna try it taking a whole You're not very <laughs> She's the worst liar in the world. More important. If you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? The tragedy? The uh, most awful human event in history or what? the question what happened out there well i can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening but it was the biggest most awful most tragic event in human history what why is that phrase coming up now because it's all because of that event what is are you serious i'm talking about the way the world is now is now the world's been destroyed get it destroyed explain yourself tell us everything you know copy that darling okay so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. Holy crap, it's raining outside really hard. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. And as a result, in basically no time flat, the world turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it? Come on, there wasn't a single concrete description in there. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics. Miss Moreau saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! My ears are bleeding. Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happens, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Uh, how could the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous. I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation. Okay. Which has given Gyakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? Oh my god. I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Hey, hey! <sighs> what do you think happened to the Togami family? <laughs> To go fail, to fail. Correct. Well done, peasant. But I didn't say anything yet. That is true. I just got so fucking bored waiting. I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay. Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, uh... you get your answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? I mean. <laughs> I think that they're, they're they're trying to justify the flaws of the game with this one cutscene by saying, "Oh, it's be, uh, you're just gonna get the right answer anyway." So it's like, okay, okay, whatever. But do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy. I mean, do you think there might be? Anyway, this game is creative, I have to say. Saying, entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes. Stop? And said with such authority. A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. Oh, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? Uh. There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, 
We only came to this school a few weeks ago. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? The, the, the thing did start at the cutscene off with us going entering the school. Mistaken? Well, oh. if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well, yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Really? Huh? Two years Wait, does that mean I always legal? <laughs> oh god, okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna shut my mouth now. Started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Wait, what? Two years ago? What does that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. <laughs> so, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far. Where the right? fuck are you getting your glasses and your pin pen? <laughs> what are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. Or crown for I'm not even gonna bother at questioning anime logic in this game. How are we supposed to answer? I, uh, I just don't know. This is making me confusing, anymore. if anything. Still, we had to answer somehow. Don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us? What if Junko says it's true? If we came, first came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remember us getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memories she took from us... Are our life at Hope's Peak, the entire past, the tragedy... I mean, the photos also explain that too, right? If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Another correct answer. Why am I the only one answering these dumbass questions? Like, seriously. This routine again? G guys, help me out here. Like, I'm, I can't be the only one knowing all this, right? Right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That that's not possible. I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. The lockers though, they kinda of do explain. But that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe it. Actually, hold on, just in case. In order to make me honestly hero believe it. The notebook was found in the locker in the second floor of the dorms. Yes, hero's name was written on the inside and it has notes of the number of different classes. The pocket was found on the second floor based on it's believed to be Kyoko's. There's some kind of message for all despair walks among us, and so we survive. That there's a second despair. But if that's the truth, then we have to accept it. If this is just a hero's uh, testimony, locker notebook. Wait, wait, hold on. Locker notebook is just a hero's, right? Let me just check real quickly. Notebook, here, okay. I could never lose something like that. You've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to oh any God. school events or anything. Heck, I've never even gone to a single class. That's easy. <laughs> I didn't even need to go through the rest of the dialogue at all, but whatever. Okay, Yasir, I hate to break your reality, but I have evidence that contradicts that. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. Alright. We'll figure this out right after the break. Stay tuned.